I was more so worried about being able to create a narrative that was that made sense and that people would understand mm -hmm. because I watched my film for dozens of times yeah. and keep watching to see if there's something that could be better and then I was like okay it makes sense to me because mm -hmm. I also I have known my dad for all my life I know our inside jokes I know how our relationship works but will will that translate to anyone else watching that's kind yeah. of what I was uh, worried about mostly yeah for sure but it's different with every film I mm -hmm. imagine with your film it was much different. The whole process was uh, based on, or like inspired on, this home video that my father sent me of us in the car. And there's me setting up the camera and here's him setting up the camera. So kind of comparisons between the past and the present. Mm -hmm. is just that you think from uh, how would I do that? Ik weet het niet. En lastig is. Ik uh, wanted een sequence of overlaying uh, images here. Mm -hmm. And I also I really like it when at the last sentence that someone speaks, it cuts back to yeah. the original footage. Mm -hmm. So I had this like this much space to fill. Mm -hmm. I could have deleted some clips, but I like the variety of them and I like the way they look together. So I think initially I started the footage when he said something, mm -hmm. which maybe would have been a bit more natural, but it just so happened that I had uh, yeah. too much footage. Yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying about mm -hmm. your, as a filmmaker and as an editor, you, you're you kind of dominating the narrative, right? Mm -hmm. It's, you call the shots, you decide what goes in, you decide what goes out. But at the same time, it's, an interesting position to be in because you notice things that others don't yeah. and those um, how do you say observations thank you <laughs> and those observations are usually very interesting I think yeah <laughs> I had to think about do I want it to be more of a letting him speak and me being behind the camera kind of thing, mm -hmm. or do I want my voice to also be heard? But then when I started interviewing him, I figured out that if you want the first uh, kind of scenario, you have to tell them to answer as if you didn't ask them a question. Hoe zou je jezelf omschrijven aan iemand die je niet kent? Uh, uh, ik ben uh, altijd bezig. Zo, zo dus. Dat lijkt me wel genoeg. En hij started talking about, oh, that's very difficult. But if I started with that's very difficult, mm. no one would be able to guess what I asked him yeah. beforehand. So that's, I mean, it all worked out in the end, but you have to consciously think about how do I ask questions yeah. in ways that would give me the footage that I want yeah. to edit. Um, he reads a lot. I don't know if you could tell by the footage of him yeah. sitting in this room. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was, at first I was like, maybe I should address why there's so many books. But then I thought, that's, you know, I'll just leave it be. People can imagine. Yeah, and you don't have to address stuff no. like that. It just, uh, I mean, it, Speaks for so yeah, that's that was, that was what I wanted to say earlier with the synopsis. I think it's super useful, and sometimes you need that. But I also find that a film is supposed to kind of be able to stand for itself and to be accessible for people. Oh, that's a good quote. Oh, I love it. How it stops on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can I can cut it off earlier or just take the audio. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's. <laughs> I think that's a really good point that you're making. Mm -hmm. How um, a film is supposed to speak for itself and that's done in editing, I think. Because all the footage you have yeah. doesn't say much until it's put together in a way that starts to make some kind of sense. Yeah. I could have made this film 30 minutes long. I could have done so much. Mm. And I showed my dad because I wanted his input as well. 
I wanted to see if he was okay with everything I put in. Yeah. And is it okay that you're in it that much? I think the visuals will go away a bit by bit because there will be your film mm -hmm. and other stuff. As long as you're okay with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I, I think it just makes sense. Um. I think he said to me too, mm -hmm. he said like, oh, I can see it's your, um, your interpretation of what we talked about or your mm -hmm. um, nar a narrative that you've created taking things that we've talked about. Nice job. Yeah.